Title, learn English in three mind-blowing steps. Funny, concerning words and verbs to change your language game. Welcome to Synergy Nexus Innovations, the holding company of Canada Smart Mind. Here, we believe that mastering a new language requires the right mix of motivation, planning, and a touch of humor to get you through those long study sessions. And remember, as you pursue your dreams of English fluency, finding balance in life is the key to achieving those far-reaching goals. Today, we're guiding you through learning English in three steps that will completely change how you approach the language. You'll get the theory, an example, and some exercises to put your knowledge to the test. So buckle up for a ride full of wit, motivation, and a splash of irony that will keep you going on your journey to Canada. Let's break it down. Step one, theory on verbs. The key to English is understanding how verbs work. Verbs are the powerhouses of sentences. They tell us what the subject is doing or what state they're in. Without them, a sentence can feel like a car without an engine. Verbs in English come in various forms, regular and irregular. While regular verbs follow predictable patterns when switching tenses, add ed for past tense, etc., irregular verbs, well, they love to break the rules. You can't trust them to behave. But don't panic. Understanding these strange verbs will unlock a door to fluency faster than you think. Let's delve into the magic of verb conjugation, starting with the most common tenses. One present simple. It's a tense of simplicity. I walk to work every day. Easy, right? The verb walk remains the same except for adding an S in the third person singular. He walks. Two, past simple. Ah, the tense that lets you relive your mistakes and victories. I walked to work yesterday. Just add ed to regular verbs, but watch out for the sneaky irregular ones like go, past, went. Three, future tense. It's full of hope. I will walk to work tomorrow. No conjugation tricks here. Just pop will in front of the verb. Now, doesn't that feel doable? But let's look at those examples before we move on. Step two, examples, using the theory. Here are three examples that incorporate the verb tenses we've just covered. One, present simple. Every day I read a chapter of my book because consistency is key to progress. Two, past simple. Last week I learned that balancing work and study is harder than it seems, but I walked through it. Three, future tense. Next year I will move to Canada and I will finally speak English fluently. Do you see how mastering these tenses is the, the key to crafting more fluid, natural sentences? It's like building the foundation for a house. Without it, nothing stands. But now it's your turn to practice what we've learned. Welcome to Canada Smart Mind, the premier Canadian school dedicated to helping you achieve your dreams. Whether you are looking to further your education, improve your skills, or advance your career, we are here to support you every step of the way. Step three. Exercises and quiz. Ready for a quiz to cement that knowledge? Try your hand at the following sentences and see if you can pick the right verb tense. One, I run to the store yesterday. A will run, B run, C ran. Two, tomorrow I visit my family. A will visit, B visited, C visit three. She always study in the morning. A studied, B studies, C will study. Four, they go to the beach last summer. A, went, go, see, will go, five. We eat dinner together every night. A, eat, B, eight, C, will eat. Six, by the end of this month, I finish my project. A, will finish, B, finish, C, finished. Seven, he speak English fluently by next year. A, speak, spoke, C, will speak. Eight, she write a letter yesterday. A, wrote, B, will write, C, writes nine. I always enjoy reading books. A, enjoyed, B, enjoy, C, will enjoy. Tomorrow, we go to the concert. A went, go, C will go. Quiz answers. One, C ran. Explanation, yesterday indicates past tense, so we use ran, the irregular past tense of run. Two, A will visit. Explanation, tomorrow points to the future, so we use will visit. Three, B studies. Explanation, always is a habit, so we stick with the present simple. Four, A went. Explanation, last summer is past, so went is the correct form of go. Five, eat. Explanation, this happens every night, which is a routine, so we use the present simple. 6. A. Will finish. Explanation, by the end of this month, refers to the future, so will finish is correct. 7. C. Will speak. Explanation, by next year, suggests the future, so we use will speak. 8. A. Wrote. Explanation, yesterday tells us this is in the past, so wrote 
is the past tense of write. 9. B. Enjoy. Explanation. Always signals a habit, so we use present simple. 10. C. Will go. Explanation. Tomorrow signals the future, so we use will go. Tell us in the comments below which topics you feel are better for you. And remember to hit the bell icon and subscribe yourself. Now, let's get back to the video. Remember, this quiz was just a warm-up. As you continue your English journey, be sure to stay consistent with your studies. AI is already influencing everything from healthcare to housing, so why not be ahead of the curve and master English too? Especially when Canada awaits with open arms. And finally, it's crucial to like, comment, and share this video to increase its relevance. By doing these three simple things, you'll help us grow and we'll have more resources to create even better content for you. Our sponsor, Synergy Nexus Innovations, is here to support you with daily English and French courses, as well as job search services, all for the low price of 20 cents a day. It's affordable, flexible, and perfect for fitting into your lifestyle. The links to our sponsor's website and Canada Smart Mind School are in the description below. Don't wait for a miracle. The path to success is built step by step. Let's get to work.